Oh, oh my god. Where is Kaori? We're supposed to be moving in today! Koya, calm down. Caleb and Kobe are bringing the U-Haul any minute now, and Kaori should be arriving any minute as well. I know, I just, I just want to move in. It's going to rain soon. I know, we've had a bit of, it was, it, uh, it's been raining quite a few days, but. Oh my god, where's Kaori? Oh my god. My god, the U Haul's here! Koya, if you don't mind stepping aside, Koya. No, no one tells me what to do! I can't believe the one in this place. Koya, you should be grateful that you guys got a house together. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late, I'm late. Yeah, I'm, I'm late. I was just getting the dog ready. Dog? Yeah, you knew about this, Koya. Oh my god! I just, ah, uh, I'm not ready! Koya, it's okay. You've had two weeks with the pair to move in now. Uh, I just don't understand how Kaura thinks, I mean, Kaura expects me to live in this. We were supposed to be living in a penthouse or something beautiful in New York or somewhere, not in a suburbia house. Ugh. Koya! Get the door! Koya! Ugh. Get the door, it's heavy here. Koya, fine. Thanks for getting the door, sorry. Kaori just needs to know one thing, that this is not our forever home. This is just our stepping stone to get one of the beautiful mansions that live next to us. When I meet those, these neighbors, I am so getting a house tour. To compare it to how dumpy and small this little house is. I just, I just cannot, I, I cannot. Koya, I heard that. What, Carter? What does it matter to you that you heard what I said? Well, like, Koya, you need to be grateful that you guys just bought a house. This is your first house together. You owe Carter's happiness since, you know, things went down between him and Kelly. Ugh, whatever, I don't, I don't care about Kelly anymore. I mean, Kelly and Carter are done. Ugh, speaking of the devil, there he is. Did you just call me a devil, babe? I'm not a devil. Uh, Carter, you have to work on moving things better. If you could just move some of those boxes, Koya, and put Liam in his bed. I'm not doing that. I will put Liam in his bed, since Koya doesn't, clearly doesn't care to. Then move the boxes, Koya. Fine, I'd rather that. You know, Carter, I'm not planning on living in this house very long. We are living here until we can buy up the beautiful mansions on either side of us. We're going to offer them a million dollars and buy it. Koya, I don't have a million dollars. This is my first house. I'm not moving out right away. We are going to live here for a few years. Koya, we clearly have different lifestyles. <sighs> you know what, Koya? I don't have time to argue with you. There's so much that we have to do. Caleb, I think, just want to get my TV now to hook up. Ugh. And you are just going to stand here and complain about everything. You don't need to. Koda, I got your TV. The dog is still in there. What? So I better go get him. Here, I'll take the TV. Actually, Koya, you hook up the TV. I'm going to go get the dog out. And I'm going to go help Kobe with something else. I am not working. I'm not doing this. I don't know why they expect me to do work. I'm just waiting for my bed and my couch to get here. Because Cloud said I cannot fit my queen-sized bed upstairs, so I'll have to go downstairs. Ugh, Cloud. Like... I mean, whatever. I guess I can just put it in storage or whatever, but, like... <sighs> Actually, it's not my lock. I'm not even going to bother moving it in here. Because, clearly, Carter is happy with a different kind of lifestyle than what I want. <sighs> so, anyways, I'm not going to even bother. Hopefully, Carter can just not move in here very fast. I got the dog, Koya. You still haven't hooked up the TV. You're still complaining about everything. <laughs> here, I'll put the dog out. Thanks, Caleb. Oh, whatever, Kaura. Oh my god. Oh, whatever, Koya. Just put up the TV. Ugh. The outlet is where those boxes are. You need to move those boxes first. Kaura! Well, we're, you are kind of holding this whole thing up because we have more furniture we need to bring in the house. Thankfully, they are just loading some of the outdoor stuff. But, like, seriously, Koya. Get to work, please. 
Actually, I'll just help you. Koya, these are all of your boxes. You need to do something with them. Kota, like I said, I am not planning on unpacking them. Until we can buy with one of the mansions on either side, I'm not unpacking them. I'm not even bothering moving my queen-size bed here. Koya! Well, it won't fit in the bedroom anyways, Carter. I have to sleep on a dumpy air mattress. I'm- No, we have actual beds, Koya. Yeah, beds. Not bed. My queen-size bed can only fit in the bedroom downstairs that's painted black. And I hate that color. It needs to be repainted pink or something glamorous. Koya, you need to realize that we are now a married couple. Well, we're not married yet. We are now a couple and this is our first house together. We need to compromise. Yeah, so move to new, move, move to have the mansions next door or buy me a million dollar house. No, Koya. The, your life is with me and Liam as Liam's stepmother and my girlfriend. We need to get this started. Carter, I'm the only reason why you could afford this house anyways. It's not like your parents were rich enough to help. Koya, that is not true. Yes, it is, Carter. Like, your parents couldn't even afford to buy this house. It's very, very sad. Carter, where's this blue table going? Um, upstairs. And Caleb, ugh. You need to realize that your life now is with me and Liam. You're not with a famous person. We don't have a million dollars. Like, you need to just adjust to your new lifestyle, Koya. Oh, I have adjusted, Carter. I've adjusted just fine, thank you. Koya. Just please, please, please calm down. Anyways, I have do not have time to stand on and chit-chat about this. I have work to do something that I'm doing unlike you. Koya! Koya, it's the truth. Now, I need to help my father and brothers move everything in. Yeah, you have a huge family. <sighs> we, who needs movers when you have brothers and sisters? Exactly. Carter, we're getting your bed up. Okay. Okay, guys, what's going on with all this stuff? Carter, we're just uh, bringing it in. Okay. Oh, okay. Where's my mom? Oh, she went to go drop off the U-Haul because there was only a few things left. Oh, that's right, and we already used it a lot this morning. Okay. Ah, uh, I can see from up here. Oh, that's Koya from the ma the bath master bath window. Why is my bed, like, not made? And, like, why is it popped up on that green thing? Oh, my poor bed. Oh, in this poor house. Koya. Oh. Koda, maybe you shouldn't be with Koya. I mean, the only reason you have a house now is because you bought a house with her. I know. Well, I don't know. I mean, she is even telling me this is not... We're not even going to... According to her, we are not staying here very long. But Koya has to compromise because she is now living with you. You guys have... This is your first house together. And your first house. I know, Dad. I actually kind of miss Kelly. Carter. Kelly's family has done bad things. We can't dread about them. I know, Dad. Okay, let's move in these um chairs. Okay, Dad, what's next? Um, can we have my birthday and Thanksgiving here, Carter? Dad, of course. Why would I not let us have our own Thanksgiving and birthday here? Of course we can. Oh, okay, I was just making sure. Yeah, of course, Dad, of course. I would never say no to you. Oh, I guess I have to do this with Koya's boxes. I know, like, that woman has so much stuff. I know. Koya, come down here, please. Coming. Yes? Um, why are my boxes piled up here? Like, unpile them right now. Koya, don't demand at us. We put them there because they were in the way of the living room furniture. Okay, what do you want me to do about it? Um, move your stuff? No. It, it's, it's fine here. Um, okay. Like I said, this is our temporary house. I'm not even going to plan in un unpacking anything. See, and she has that idea that this is only the temporary house. Carter said he wants to live here long term. 
I know. Bad coming through. Oh, they're coming in with the bad. Ugh, Koya's cabinet. Coming, son. Ugh, that's everything, right? Because that table won't fit. Yeah, we'll just... I put it back in alcohol. Okay. Ugh, there's no room upstairs, Carter. What? That's your way. Right. Koya! Looks like we can't fit your meta... Your... Not your medicine cabinet. Your, um... Do makeup counter. What are you talking about? See, you're not making it a priority for my stuff. You're moving all my stuff for your stuff. Koya. It's the truth. <sighs> well, there is one spot I thought of. You can put it right there, I guess. Are you crazy? No. Well, it's the only spot, Koya. It's meant to go in the bedroom, but Liam is in that bedroom. Put Liam downstairs. Absolutely not. Liam will not be sleeping downstairs. And c keep it down. He's trying to have a nap. Oh. So, anyways, let's move this up. I'm not moving it. Carter, can't believe that you married a spoiled brat. I mean, I mean, sorry, not married. You're with a spoiled brat. I know. Oh, she's just aggravating me more. Anyways, let's get this up. So and then we can be done with moving. Yes, yeah, so we need to go home. Yeah. Yeah, this must be the best spot for it. Koya! Oh, moving to this house is a mistake. Koya, come see your medicine cabinet. Coming. I could stare at this mansion all day long. Here it is. I need the shelves facing out. Koya, this is the only way it will fit. Whatever. When you move out, you can take it. You mean when we move out? Yes, that's what I meant. When we move out, you can take it, I guess. But you just have to live a bit like this while we're here for the next few years. I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it. Bye, guys. We're leaving. Dad's already and Mom are already in the car. Bye, Carter. Congrats. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Ah, <sighs> Koya, home sweet home, we're finally moved in. You mean home sweet dumb? Excuse me, Koya? Okay, you've been complaining about this house all day. Yeah, I know, Carter, I just... I just I'm just not impressed, okay? Oh my god. Koya, you just need to look on the bright side of things. This house is too small. <gasps> I just realized something. The bedroom downstairs that has nothing in it could be my dressing room. I have to go down stairs to get changed. That's it. You and I are moving our bedroom downstairs. Koya, we are not moving anything else. I'm tired from moving furniture all day long. I'm sorry. We are not moving anything else. Yes, we are, Carter. Yes, we are. No, we're not. And besides, don't you want to paint that bedroom first anyways? Oh, yeah. I want to paint it pink or something like that. Black it, down there. No way. Who's at the door? Koya, I'll get it. No, I will get it. Hello, so if me and my husband Darren came at the wrong time. Darren, where are you? Right here. We just wanted to... Darren, we just wanted to walk me to the neighborhood. What is this, a cheese plate? Ew. Ew. I don't like cheese plate. Well, sorry, miss, but... Do you live here by yourself? Of course I don't live in this dump by myself. Koya, stop saying that. <gasps> oh, Mr. and Mrs. Robinson. You guys were pretty good friends with my mom and dad when we lived here. Carter, you live here? Oh my god. Yeah, I I did actually. Koya helped me buy this house. Also, she paid the most of it. Oh, wow. Well, welcome to the neighborhood, Carter. Is this your girlfriend? Yeah. Oh my god, when you lived on the lane, you were single. No, sorry, when you guys still lived here, you were dating Kelly, I thought. A lot has happened with Kelly. We're, we're no longer together. But, yeah, and I heard you guys, she was having a baby. Not me. No, not you, you. Um, Carter, Carter, right? You, you have a baby now. Yeah, his name's Liam. He's one. Oh my god, a year already? Yeah, his birthday was actually last month in August. Anyways... It is so nice to meet you, Koya. You and Carter look like a very happy family here with, of course,
close to Liam. It's so nice having younger families coming back. And having old neighbors returning to the lane. Yeah, whatever that means. <laughs> well, yeah, Koya, you knew I lived in the house next door, right? You never told me that! What?! Yeah, but we moved away from it. To the house your parents live in now, that mansion. Well, it's a bit bigger. It's around the same size, but yes. Um, I know it's actually a bit bigger, the new house, but yes, we've been living there for over a year now. So you're telling me we've been dating for so long, for a few months now, and you used to live in the mansion next door, and you never told me that. Yes, Koya. Why would your mouth from there? It was my parents' decision, not mine, and that was when the housing market was at its peak. It's still at its peak, but that is why. Yes, that is why, Koya. It is so nice to have you back on the lane, Carter. How's your parents? Oh, doing better, I suppose. I mean, we've lost a few of the siblings now. What? Well, Christina's husband, Daniel, just died a, f a, a month ago now. What? Oh, that's so... Poor Christina. Yes. Wait, so you knew her, Carter? Oh my god, yes, Koya. Suzanne and Darren lived across from the street from me and my, me and my parents and our family for 22 years. So we knew them pretty well. Yes, your mother used to come over when me and the girls used to have our poker games and coffee dates and all that. But then most of the, the um, ladies on the street have moved away, so now I'm hoping to connect with a new group of ladies. Koya, you're, well, you're welcome to join us next time me and... Well, the girls on the street. I will not be joining you for coffee and poker. I don't drink coffee. I take, um, tea, and I don't n even know how to play poker. You, it's all your poke stuff, right? Oh my gosh, call it, call ya. But anyways, um, I guess I'll take that as a no then, Koya. Yeah. So then, Colton, dot no. First was Cameron died. Cameron. No, Christopher, sorry, died. Um, he got stabbed. What? It was all by Kelly's parents. It's a long story. I'll have to come over and tell you one time. So, yeah, his, since Kelly's parents are criminals. Oh, my God, Carter. Yeah. And what happened next? Um, then Colton died, too. Oh, my God. I know, I know. And, yeah. And then Daniel died at the end of August. So it has been probably a really rough summer, but we're back at, at the house. We're slowly getting through it and trying to move along with life. Oh, I'll tell your mother, I'm so sorry for your loss. But yeah, anyways, here is your cheese platter. Have a nice day. Thanks, Suzanne. Bye. Bye. Bye.